Station, built by the Airbus OneWeb Satellites joint venture, and we're flying on board the 20th to launch from the Guiana Space Center. Our very best wishes now to all the teams. final 10 9 8 7 6 5 4 3 2 1 top et décollage vers 21 en web F6 And they are off. The first six OneWeb satellites have begun their journey, heading out north over the Atlantic towards the Caribbean. Look at that. Those engines on board Soyuz are pushing hard against Earth's gravity. We're burning five engines at the moment. He's telling us that everything on board is going according to plan. And we've got five engines. We've got one on the main stage. We've got four on each one of those boosters. But it's the boosters that are doing all the work right now. A streak of light heading out across the skies here at the Guiana Space Center, out over the Atlantic Ocean. The boosters only burn for two minutes, but that's long enough for Soyuz to escape the pull of our planet. We're delivering 80% of our thrust right now. And if we're lucky, we might see them falling away. I think we're going to see them being jettisoned. Look out for four dots. There we go. There they go. Look how they twist and turn. That's all part of the plan. Very beautiful sight, actually, to see that with the cameras. And now what we're left with... The... He's uh, told us that that's been confirmed. You can see that's what it looks like from in space. So they've burnt all their fuel. We don't need them anymore. And we are burning the main core stage, the block A. And uh, if you take a look, Bonne stabilisation du lanceur suite à la séparation. he's telling us that it's good stabilisation after the uh, separation there of those boosters. And you take a look at the front of the launcher, that's actually called the fairing, as I mentioned earlier. And he's saying everything's going well. And uh, the satellites are in there. And indeed, that fairing has been protecting our satellites. It protects us from the rigors of the launch, a number of things it needs to protect us from, notably the acoustic vibrations at liftoff. It's very loud, I'm sure you can imagine. Uh, it's also protecting us from friction because as we fly through the dense part of the atmosphere, that creates a lot of friction on the outside, and uh, that creates heat, of course. As we get higher up, the air gets thinner, and we have less and less friction. And if you look at the bottom left-hand side of your screen, you can see uh, we are 116 kilometers above Earth. So we've gone above what we call the Kármán line. That's the border with space. So effectively, we don't really need our fairing anymore because uh, we hardly have any friction, certainly not enough for it to be a problem. And so we can jettison it. This is the scheduled moment for jettisoning the fairing. And that's what it looks like from cameras on board a previous launcher. And he's confirmed that we have that separation. 
Now, if you have ever wondered how satellites work, how they get the internet to you, and how we all get connected, then you're in luck, because a man who knows is David Nemeth from OneWeb, and David is with me now. David, thank you very much for joining us. Hi, Katie. I'm so happy to be here. David, you're the Director of Systems Modeling at OneWeb. In a nutshell, what does that mean? So my team is responsible for doing really detailed models of the satellites flying and connecting to the ground stations and connecting the users and really making sure that we've got the capacity that we want and that we know how to run the system properly. Very important work. And uh, we're coming up now on the scheduled separation of the next stage. We use a hot stage technique on Soyuz, which means we switch on the engine of the third stage before we separate the second stage. And more cameras there on a previous launch showing us... Allumage block E, extinction block A, and separation. And we have the confirmation there from the range operations manager. So we are now burning the third stage, and that's what it looks like. David, you can see your satellites for the first time. Can you talk through for us what we're looking at? So what we're seeing here is a the dispenser, which has four rings, which would, in this design, mount 32 satellites. We're launching six today, plus six uh, mass frequency simulators. And the first two sim satellites you saw were at the top there. Those are going to be the first two to be ejected. Um, the dispenser, the shape of the satellites are sort of a trapezoid, and they fit around. I'm just going to stop, uh, for a sec stop you for a second with trapezoid.